Welcome, honored guests, to the land of TMS. I am the busybody Baroness, and this is a comment video from the car on break. So y'all gonna hear garbage trucks, birds, all types of outside activity, because I got the windows down, because I just had to get out that building. I just was over it today. Um, Catherine is first. She says the Trina and Spencer jump hug was the best. It was also a very passionate kiss. Loved it. We haven't had that kind of passion and love. I can get behind since the 80s. Yeah, that was really cute. It really was. Um, It was just sweet. He's so little. She's so tiny. Then Dwight says, it's not out of the question that Morgan may return to General Hospital, even if it's in a recast version, since the show celebrates its 60th anniversary this year. And she says, Nina and Valentine get back together. I can see, I do, we might get Morgan, y'all. They've been promising us Morgan since last year, but see, with the writers being on strike, I don't know. Like, a lot of our, the storylines, if you notice for the, well, maybe you haven't, but so far this month a lot of the stories are going to seem a little bit rushed because the writers anticipated anticipated them having to go on strike so they did they tried to finish they tried to write and finish as much as they could and it's not just our writers it's sitcom writers you know every you know everybody did everybody was trying to hurry up like abbott elementary they said they made it they were able to finish you know so they could get their season out because they don't know how long the strike is going to last so the writers they were trying we i gotta give them credit you guys they were trying to be as creative but as prompt as possible because they don't know how long the writer strike is going to last and at the time when they were writing this they were not even sure if they were going to go on strike so if we go into june with general hospital if we get the first week of june of episodes i would be grateful for that um and yeah i i I don't know if Nina and Valentine will get back together because what would break up Valentine and Anna? That would be the only thing. Robin Anthony says, I love the way Trina jumped into his arms. Also, she, yeah, she is so little and he is so tall. Love a tall, manly man. And Linda responds and says that jump was just like the women used to to always do on The Bachelor when they had a one-on-one -on -one date with the lead and were meeting him in town. That is also an ABC show. Maybe they got the idea from that. It sure was fun and sweet to see Sprina, which was the opposite for when it was done on The Bachelor. Dang. I haven't watched The Bachelor. I watched the first season, but not the whole first season because it was boring. Because I was curious to see what it was going to be about because I was in the flavor love. I was like, look at ABC trying to be like Flav and them giving roses instead of clocks. Yeah, I found The Bachelor boring compared to, you know reality you know those type of shows but yeah it was really cute the uh spring the thing um and it might have been inspired by the bachelor jump i do remember fans um were requesting that they get a run and jump into his arms moment so between that and the fans request robin says the baby is almost as big as trina that is a big old baby them babies is growing fast um, Linda says, yet Michael's actions may have unintended consequences for Jocelyn's younger sisters, Donna and Avery. And Carly will be furious when she finds out the truth. And she says, Chase uh, reveals Nell is alive and where she is. That would be good if he did. But we all know that Chase is too honest to be had Nell like that for that long, you know. Um, I'm sure Nell will come back eventually i'm not putting that i think her and morgan are supposed to was supposed to come back last summer but this for sure y'all probably was gonna be the summer for them to come back we just have to see about that writer strike and yeah carly would be absolutely furious when she finds out the truth the truth is gonna come out Sabrina says regarding Nina, she is becoming more and more unhinged every day. Wonder what extreme she'll to go through not to be found out i think tracy is gonna find out that nina turned them in yes let me stop right there tracy is definitely gonna be the one to find out that it was nina because she does not like the way people are ganging up on ned uh drew rushed in there and punched his lights out got him laying out on the sofa for a nap tracy don't like that shit she's gonna get to the bottom of this because ned keeps saying that he didn't do it and that's what tracy said she said yeah deny deny like tracy don't even really believe him but she believes him now especially after he got punched so i really 
I'm sorry, y'all, for the noise, but it's really hot. It's like uh, 77 degrees today. Um, so I think you're right. I think Tracy definitely will be the one um, to find out about Nina. And then she concludes and says, I hope Carly helps Nina and Willow. It would show great growth for the character of Carly. Lastly, I didn't like the look on Valentine's face when Spencer showed up alive. Hope he's not going back to his old ways. Remember, he brought the Pikeman deal to Sonny, which means he knows who's behind Pikeman. I didn't think about that, but yes. The look on Valentine's face when Spencer showed up alive was quite balled up. Put it in the comments. I know him and Spencer don't get along at all. But Valentin has been changed. You know, he has changed. So I would hate to think that he's not glad to see Spencer. That would be messed up. Uh, Barbara says, Joss outgrew Cameron. Yeah, she did. Um, Hello there says, Spencer is probably going to get tired. I'm sorry. Tried for Victor's murder because the autopsy will show he had a sustained concussion to the head. There is no real proof that the drone bomb got him if if he is in one piece like that oh spencer or drew drew hit him first drew hit him first and then spencer hit him he could have got blown off the boat right like when people some people get in the car accidents and you hear them get thrown from the vehicle i ain't never been blewed up or seen nobody blown up <laughs> but i'm just assuming like and you just just right you standing on something you standing on the floor and it just and then it's a ship so it's no windows or anything right so i mean not i mean they weren't in a room like a cabin they were like in the dining room part i don't know i'm just gonna let's chalk it up to he got blown off the boat like if somebody got thrown from a vehicle Huh? Did that work? I don't know. Put it in the comments if that makes sense. I'm trying to help the writers. Shit down strike. <laughs> Diane V says Michael is going to use the tape of Sonny to save Carly and Drew. <gasps> the feds rather have Sonny. Put it in the comments. Do you think? Oh, no. So that means Sonny would definitely go to jail, though, if he do that. That's a good theory, though, but I would hate that because that would be extremely final for Sonny. But that would be a good way to get Drew and Carly out of trouble. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm It's kind of getting on my nerves. I'm really hope it's not bothering y'all, the noise. I'm so hot. I'm just, the premenopausal. <laughs> so please forgive me. <laughs> Any bit of air, wind, gust of cool I can get my hands on, I take advantage of it. Uh, LaShanta says Spencer is still entitled. He thinks he's going to get A's. Oh, come on, truck. Back up or park it. They been beeping it. Um, Spencer is still entitled. He now they hollering. I'm gonna have to pause my video and move my car. Oh, hold on, y'all. I'll be back. Cause now this man I got to holler. I'm about to holler back and tell him to shut the fuck up. Okay, sorry, y'all. I'm back. Y'all probably can still hear, but I ain't as close to it as I was. Um, okay, LaShanta, she says Spencer is still entitled. He thinks he's gonna get A's. You're the reason Victor got him. Nina. Wait a minute. Nina time is short, okay? Diane and Robert were getting close, but she had to go to the police station for Drew. Liesel said it wasn't for Drew. Sorry if you hear a car, somebody just pulling up next to me. Said if it wasn't for Drew, she wouldn't be able to save Willow. How the SEC knows where Drew was, Joss and Dex were cute today. She's not hiding anymore. I can't believe Nina had the nerve to cry those crocodile tears and ask Carly for help with willow after everything she did diane saw holly and robert kissing he do too much diane is grown sam and dante putting their heads together is a matter of time diane is so bad she got drew released quickly nina lurking in the halls as usual watching michael carly and the kids looking at willow through the window and then charlene responds and says i know um do i think spencer is entitled for still thinking I have to look at it from Spencer's point of view. Spencer doesn't, I don't think it's the, his entitlement that's kicking in while he feels like that he wants Ace. I think it's still the fact of Esme. He does not believe Esme. He does not trust Esme. He feels like if he takes the baby, he'll be keeping 
uh, a save. I, I really, at this time, I don't think it's an entitlement thing, Lashanta. I really do believe that Spencer believes that he's doing the right thing for that baby. Uh, much like Michael, when Michael went after uh, custody of Avery. Um, let me see, Diana Robert. Yeah, Robert is playing these games. Like, he's got it really bad for Holly. Holly still got him wrapped around his her finger. And how the SEC news were Drew Bush, Josh, and Dex. Well, once, I mean, it's a small town. So, once word got out that everybody from Greenland was coming home, it was probably just them putting two, two together. CT Traveler says Maxie and Michael are not cousins. I wasn't sure. I thought they were related in some kind of way because of Tony. Like, our, Maxie is related to Tony in some kind of way. That's kind of why, I don't know. Put it in the comments, GH historians. Let me know. Um, she continues and says, I was screaming when Trina leapt into Spencer's arms. I'm all about Sprina. I'm down with Sprina Nation. I was over Joss and Dex after the third time they touched knees and then talked about Sunny after that seems to be all they do. Some tea from a discussion I watched and the subject of Joss and Dex came up. They stated that there are, there are people out there pushing for the same fanfare that there is for Sprina. The problem is, from what they said, is that Jack's fandom is fake. I don't know, but found that curious. When Joss and Dex first got together, a lot of fans, because we talked about it, even a lot of, even in our group, a lot of y'all were torn in between her and Cameron. A lot of you felt like she wasn't being fair to Cameron. She was, you know, just being fast. Then a lot of us, and I was, I don't think I cared. Put in the comments if you remember what I said. I don't think I care, and I chose her and Dex to give us something better to watch because we always were saying that Cameron and we felt that her and Cameron were a little bit boring but we liked them because they were cute and they've been on the show you know we watched them grow up so a lot of us liked her with Jocelyn for that took a long time to get out didn't it anyway <laughs> a lot of us watched it for sentiment you know because sentimental reasons we liked her and uh Cameron together um but a lot of other people found Dex to be sexy and mysterious and Jason like so I think it just depends on the fans do I think it's fake I don't think it's anywhere near as big as with the fandom of Sprina because Joss and Cameron had that right so you I don't know I see what the writers were trying to do but it's not working I think they do have fans I don't think it's as big. Because, uh, wait a minute, somebody did do a billboard for Jax when they first started dating and sent him a cake. I posted that. So, they do have fans. I don't think it's just as big as Trina now. Because what it is, if you notice, the, the stories that they're telling. So, yesterday's episode, real quick. <sighs> when Joss was explaining to Dex about the family tree and about how Carly loved someone similar to Dex, right? That's setting us up to let us know that this is Carly and Jason 2.0. Same with um, Sprina. Same with Michael and Willow. History loves to repeat itself in, in real life and on TV. <laughs> this is Disney, people. They love a remake. Reesky says Maxie has the heart of uh, BJ, whose birth mother was Tanya. Yeah, Roscoe, and then Lucy and Bobby as stepmothers, and Tony for a birthday. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And this is what made me think that Maxie and Michael are related. Lucy and Bobby, stepmothers. Okay, Maxie has the heart of BJ, whose birth mother was Roscoff and then Lucy and Bobby is stepmother okay so that was her step okay so Bobby was her stepmom Tony is her dad I wish they would bring her back I had to read it twice because I'm trying to figure out this family tree but she died when she and Felicia went shopping and a drunk driver ran her down yes I remember that I do know that Maxie perjured herself when Michael had blood on his shirt and he murdered someone. Maxie's testimony could have put Michael in prison. So if Tony is Maxie's... Not for, what? Now I'm tangled again. Hold on. Tanya Roscoff and then had Lucy. I thought Frisco was Maxie's dad. I'm so confused now. This confused me, Rieske. 
is Tony her father? And Frisco took over. Put it in the comments. I I don't even want to. I I don't want to say anything because I'm I'm com very much confused now. Is Tony Maxie's dad was her dad or because if Tony is Maxie's dad, wouldn't that make her and uh no Carly no child moving on. Risky says apparently Maxie will be in some kind of trouble and need her mother's help. Everybody will owe Ned an apology when they find out it was Nina. Valentine is still involved with the same people that Sonny got involved with. Oh, my water fell. Um, got involved with. I know Valentine was just a go-between, but still. Well, well, ladies, you know now why Spencer had to work out. That was a lot of weight to carry and hold on to. I'm surprised Spence didn't lose his balance and fall considering it was a surprise run and jump that Trina did. I hope his back is okay. And Paul Thomas says, um, Trina is small as can be. That is not a lot of weight. Yeah, Trina tiny. She's very small. She's, I'm four foot ten. Trina might got me by an inch or two. <laughs> she might be a little bit taller than me. She's very tiny. Um, trust me, Spencer didn't feel that way. He bench pressed probably three times Trina's weight uh omar in the house with a conversation saying i thought i missed the episode because i'm like what when did valentine get better <laughs> oh yeah the way trina jumped in spencer's arms like she was a part of WNBA. was i the only one that saw victor smile at the end now i gotta go back and watch it what what okay i gotta go back and watch it now i'm creeped out he says hey has anybody noticed sam looks like she had work done are we related, Omar? Are we related? Are, what is it? How the fuck do you say everything through these comments that I think when I'm watching the show? Oh my God, this is so creepy. Let me, cause I swear I look. What the hell? You and your mom. And y'all be saying everything I think in the comments. I absolutely love it. I get so excited. I'm like, God, I was thinking the same thing. Okay. Has anybody noticed Sam's look like she had work done on her face? To me, yes, her face looks really tight. She kind of got like, not Bobby face. <laughs> Y'all know I hate that all that work Bobby had done. Not Bobby face, but yeah, you could tell she done had some tightening done. But it looks good. It looks real good. Um, she's Maxie and Michael are not related. Y'all, okay, okay. They're just really close. Y'all, Lulu's going to be pissed when she wake up. I definitely think that Victor is still alive. What? Also, the baby looks a little mixed. You know what? <sighs> mixed. <laughs> it's summertime. That baby been outside. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here go Barbara in the house. Barbara says, I noticed it around the new year. It looks like she plumped up her... Yes, her boobs was looking like something in that nurse's ball dress. He says, with the possible work done, it appears she lost about 15 pounds. Sam is smaller than Liz now. And then, um, all my responses at Barbara Plus, I've been watching old clips of old shows. I just watched the episode when John McBain and Silas Clay and Lucy, when she thought McBain was the vampire, she looks very different then until now, but can't tell she's aging too. Right. So, yes, Sam... I want to say, let me, I'm going to Google it. I need to see how old Sam is. But, um, I want to say me and Sam. It's hard to say because Sam been with Sonny and she been with his son. I don't know how old Sam is supposed to be. But I know I'm premenopausal. And Sam is either right there with me or not too far behind. But then my doctor said I was going through it early. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. I can't tell how old Sam is. I never could tell how old Sam was. Even She just got one of those faces that you really can't tell. Now, I did notice that she got her boobs done. I did notice that she got some new, some great New York boobs. But other than that, and then I noticed when I saw the episode yesterday, her face. Because Sam has always had like a really not sharp jaw but she just had a very defining face you know her jawline and stuff so yeah you can tell that she's probably had a little lift and if she have high five to her because listen i'm thinking about doing it it's called a mini facelift that's what it looked like she got and that's what made me be all in because it's called a mini facelift because i used to be a fat girl and you know i've lost a lot of less elasticity since i lost the weight i used to weigh 300 pounds now i'm like 120 five i think again i'm only four foot ten 
I've shrunk <laughs> over the years, but I'm just saying to carry all that weight on me wasn't healthy. And so I did have some loose skin and I was able to tone up, but it's nothing I can do about, you can tone up your face as much as you can, but once you get a certain age, it's just, it just loses. It's nothing you can do. Um, so yeah, I am considering going in for a mini facelift. I found me a good doctor, child. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I think Sam looked good. Um, I just think because we see her so much and we know her like you digging up old pictures. Don't y'all be digging up no <laughs> I swear ain't nobody better dig up no old compare pictures of me. All right, y'all. I'm about to get one more comment video out. I'm supposed to be back in. I said I'm gonna go back in at 1 30. But I don't feel like doing nothing but going home. All right, hit the like before you leave, y'all, and I'll catch you in the comments.